Hey everybody, this is the Modern Geek, also known as Vant Mario, and this is Infinity 3.0 day. It's launch day. Uh, it's early. <laughs> I'm in my travels. I thought I'd do a mid-video. Um, it will not have my opening as it normally does, uh, but I figured I'd put up a quick video just on my YouTube page so you guys can check it out. Um, so far, so good. I've hit Target and I've hit... Uh, Toys R Us. Uh, Target's got an amazing deal, two for twenty on the figures, uh, and Toys R Us has got buy one get one fifty percent off. Uh, we got retail exclusives, so um, all of the Rebels figures are kind of sprinkled among most of the other retailers. Excuse me, I'm going to get my drink of coffee because, like I said, for me it's uh, the journey started at seven. Uh, we're now at nine twenty-eight. Oh, uh, sorry, a little after nine o'clock. Both my Target and my Toys R Us opened um, at 8, so uh, we will see. As you can see, I got the goatee, so uh, a little bit more Star Wars, a little bit, a little bit wiser facial hair. Um, <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we got exclusives at each place. Uh, they're timed exclusives, so the cool thing about Infinity is we don't have to go nuts, but if I can get them cheaper now, might as well, right? Um, and it was cool. So, um, initial reactions, uh, we got some toy box, so I was able to get Mickey, Olaf, oh god, <laughs> as I drop things in my car. And you can see these pictures, Sadness, Tron, uh, Tron, Flynn, Sam Flynn, I keep calling him Tron. Um, <laughs> since they didn't give Sam Flynn a face, and I wonder... There's got to be a good story about that. Um, and then I was able to get, for Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ah, uh, crap. Yoda, which I am super psyched to play with. Um, and then our exclusives, which are our Rebel figures. Whoops. Sabine, which is the Target exclusive. Um, and then... I always get his name. Well, that's not that's not my exclusive. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Non-pre-planned videos. Uh, Ezra. So that's the Toys R Us exclusive. Um, so I was able to get all these guys. I picked up actually Yoda and Ezra at Toys R Us just so I could do the two for uh, the one buy one get one fifty percent off. Um, I picked up the majority of the others at Target because obviously that was the better deal. Um, also, Toys R Us is doing, if you pre-order the starter uh, set there, you can pick out three figures and they will be 40% off. So, it's kind of a better deal. Um, but they, but Toys R Us ha does uh, where they charge a dollar more for the figures. So, it's not the best deal. Um, but so far pretty awesome. Um, really stoked uh, that I got those guys. Uh, I'll be doing my last stop at GameStop where I'll be doing, um, I'll be getting my Saga bundle, doing some trade-ins to kind of make it a little cheaper. Um, and then on top of that, I'll be getting the Inside Out play set and Zeb, who's uh, the other exclusive. So not too bad for exclusives. Um, the ones I'm Sort of passing on for now. Um, so Fear was an Amazon exclusive. You had to order Fear on Amazon. Um, the um, Mulan at Best Buy. And then I believe Kanan was at Walmart. But I went to my local Walmart and they had nothing. Um, but that being said, my Target didn't have anything either. Meaning they, they didn't have it out. They were really unprepared for launch today, um, so they didn't have it all out, uh, which was kind of disconcerting. Um, they seemed a little short-staffed at Target today. Things to look out for. So uh, definitely uh, figure quantities are small. Uh, my local Target, if the gentleman was accurate, in most cases they got like one box of each character. Um, a box basically has four figures in it. Uh, so for the time, the exclusives, if you're really trying to get everything now, that could be problematic. Um, 
Also, my so the, another reason why I picked up Yoda at Toys R Us is my Target actually didn't get any Yodas, um, which is kind of odd because Yoda and Obi Wan are the ones that they were going to have a lot of, and it makes sense. It's the newer playset, so they want to have the characters that are centric to it be that way, and then uh, Darth Maul and the villains for some of these are going to be out later. Um, So they're kind of staggering the figures this time around uh, to give you a little bit more at each time. My hope is that this is also a tactic so that maybe we get some more figures. Uh, Because there's still, I think, some figures that are unannounced. And obviously we have a couple of different play sets and things we haven't seen yet either. Um, But so far so good. In my neck of the woods, uh, which is in the New York area... um, Nobody has, uh, it wasn't really a big turnout. I was actually surprised, being Star Wars, being what it is. I would have thought people would have descended onto the stores a little bit more. But another thing about it is that Disney has been really kind of, you know, normally just saying they're going to be there. Don't go nuts. Don't have issues. Don't have problems. So that in itself may have caused a little bit of the lack thereof. But they're pretty cool. I think they look awesome. Um, Paint jobs are good this time around. I haven't heard anything about any bad paint jobs. Uh, You might want to check them. I know one other gentleman that was there this morning was checking a lot of them. Um, (laughs) He became my Infinity buddy since there wasn't too many of us Infinity fans there. Um, Toys R Us has a ton so they're exclusive. You don't have to go as early as me. But again, Star Wars. Thought maybe the time exclusives might get a little bit more play. Also, kind of an odd thing, uh, Toy Box Takeover. So um, unless they're keeping all of them for pre-order, um, which is very possible, uh, I have not seen a store have it yet. So Target, uh, Toys R Us didn't have any Toy Box Takeovers out. So my theory to that is that us pre-order folks, uh, theoretically, are getting whatever stock the store has. Um, that being said, I know some, another friend of mine had an issue where that wasn't even shipped to them. So uh, I'm thinking, and it looks like there are some shipping issues this time around, which is kind of interesting because they've they've overly saturated i think a little bit the promotion for this game like everybody knows everything so uh yeah it's just very very odd they've let out so much more information than they normally do um so i hope and uh, you know i hope this lackluster crowd doesn't detract from our game you know, obviously want to see them get all the way to 5.0 because they at least said five years um, and see what we can do. So, but overall, good launch so far. Um, I'll be going to GameStop last on my list uh, and, you know, pretty much couldn't be happier with the way in which this all turned out. So, uh, so far, so good. Um, awesome. So yeah, uh, we'll be, we'll, uh, I'll probably do another quick video as the journey ends and see how we did. Um, see if there are any other trials, tribulations, let you guys know any other key things to think about. Um, and please stay tuned because whenever I get my butt home. Um, I'll definitely start uh, having a stream up for uh, at least the beginning of the game. We'll bust this thing open. Um, And then you'll see throughout the week I'll have my unboxing videos. That'll give you some more uh, closer look at some of these figures. Uh, And I'm just excited because 3.0 is here. It's Disney Infinity. And it's Star Wars. Force powers. Come on, man. It's Star Wars. You cannot be psyched about this. Um... And I, as I was saying to someone else, I think our soft launch, as I'm going to call it, uh, is just the fact 
that most people, A, I don't think knew the game launched now, and B, uh, I think we're going to see, you're going to see this stuff fly off the shelves once uh, Christmas hits, because The Force Awakening <sighs> is going to make everybody want to get themselves some Star Wars. So, um, awesome. Well, take care, guys, and until the next video, which will be shortly, uh, and we'll see you. And please, again, remember, subscribe to us on YouTube and Twitch, Fant Mario, and check us out on Facebook, Modern Geek. You can see posts from the day, see how the journey's been going. All right, take care, guys.